name is Jessica Pitcher. I'm the Associate Director of Alumni Career Services. Hopefully you knew that Alumni Career Services is a resource for you, but we obviously offer different services and supports in regards to your career development as an alum. Um, we are obviously here for a quick virtual session called Find Fellow SU Alumni. So I'm assuming that you would guess that the biggest reason people come to Alumni Career Services is because they need a job. But usually number two right behind, right behind that is that they want to connect with fellow alumni. So this is our quick and fast. Here's a few different ways for um, you to do that. So let me share screens here so we can get started. Uh, so first on the list is in regards to um, utilizing different LinkedIn resources. All right. Well, good to see everybody. So I'm John Kogler. I'm the relatively new Assistant Director of Alumni Career Services for Syracuse. So looking forward to getting to know you guys and many, many more of our amazing alums. Um, and I'm really excited to walk you guys through the alumni search tool here. So let me get my screen fired up here and we'll be off to the races. All right, well, let's kick things off here real quick, guys. So I wanna spend just a few minutes walking you through what I think Jess and I talk to alumni about pretty much every single day. So this is an amazing tool that exists for you guys to make heads and tails of our amazing alumni network, right? So um, let me actually start by showing you how I got here, just in case you want to follow along. So when you open up your LinkedIn homepage, just do a search for Syracuse University, and you'll see the school page come through here. This is the one that we want to go to. And we're going to click through. And now we're going to know we're in the right spot because you're going to see this alumni button right here. So this is going to be kind of your one-stop shop for making heads and tails of our alumni network. So um, you'll see we've got about 155,000 alumni on here, which is amazing. It's a great number to work with. And then the next question is, great, how do I start to dig in and make heads and tails of finding the right people, right? So the ones that I may want to connect with, do some networking, and ultimately just use to grow my network. So you'll see if we scroll down here a little bit that there are several different subfilters here that you can start to use. So where they work, so you can see where we have critical masses of alums. You can see where they live. So maybe you're sitting in Syracuse or maybe you're sitting in California like I am. You can start to navigate geographically that way. If we go back up here, we'll see there's a right arrow. Be sure to hit this and you'll see additional filters that follow. Um, so what they do, like what type of work they're doing, what types of skills are listed in our alumni LinkedIn profile. So maybe you're looking for a mentor more or less, maybe to become better at public speaking or become a leader. It's a really nice way to kind of tap into this filter. And then also what they studied. So maybe you were a computer science major or you studied marketing and you want to kind of drill in that way. You can do that as well. So I want to navigate back over here to the left and show you, I think, what's probably one of the most uh, efficient and useful ways to use this right out of the gate. So time and time again, we'll have alumni come in to talk to Jess and I and they'll say, how do I find Syracuse alumni at companies that I'm interested in, right? Maybe I'm going to be applying for a job there. Maybe I already have. Maybe it's just a longer term goal to eventually pivot myself into that organization. And what I suggest doing in that case is starting with this where they work filter. So let me give you a bit of a case study. So I had a alumni come in earlier this week here in Los Angeles who was very interested in looking at NBC Universal. That's a company that they're just very laser focused on. So what you can do in this case is type in NBC Universal here in the search. And you'll see this brings back 892 alumni, which is a good starting place. But these are alumni that in some form or fashion somewhere in their profile mentioned NBC Universal. Better yet is if you scroll down to this where they work filter and you'll see we've got 158 alumni who are showing current employment at NBC Universal. So if we click through there, you'll see we're now down to 158. And here we can start to scroll down and go through these 158 alums. And this is where you can start to say, hey, maybe Daniel or Valerie or whoever it is, is somebody I want to reach out to. And then you send that connection request with a very brief outreach message requesting maybe 15, 20 minutes to connect. Um, another way that you can whittle this down further, so and I'll use this case study again from earlier this week, is this alumni was really interested in careers and job opportunities in the marketing space. So. This is where you can say, okay, 158 is great, but if I go back over to my subfilter here to what they do, I can say, hey, let's find the 26 that are doing marketing work at NBC Universal. So these, this is a better grouping of alumni then <clears throat> for you to start to go through and say, okay, these are all marketing focused people. 
who are the maybe two or three or four that I think would be the most kind of on point or the most interesting for me to reach out to. And you can make heads and tails of it that way. Uh, okay, so that's, I think, one of the most powerful ways for you to quickly get into our alumni network and start to reach out and do some purposeful and intentional outreach using the LinkedIn alumni search tool. One other thing that I do want to show you really quick is another route to do this. So this is all going through Syracuse, the alumni network, and drilling in that way. Another way that you can do this is you can actually start at the company level. So let's take a big company, for example, like Amazon. We've got a bunch of Syracuse alums that are working at Amazon. So I'm going to do a search for Amazon, and then I'm going to go ahead and click through to the Amazon company page on LinkedIn. And here you'll see there's a button right here, very similar to the alumni button we looked at before, but this one is just for all people working at Amazon. So what you can do here, so we're at, gosh, 750,000 people, so that's a lot. So what I suggest doing in this case is you can say, okay, Amazon is a company I'm super interested in. Let's take a peek at where they studied, and we're going to tap into the Syracuse alumni network this way. Um, you'll see there are a lot of universities and colleges that are represented at Amazon. We actually don't see Syracuse on this list. So what you want to do is click on this add button, and this will allow you to type in a manual entry, and we're going to see Syracuse come up. Okay, so we found Syracuse, and we've got 915 alumni sitting at Amazon. And again, you can use some of these other subfilters. Maybe this time you want to do... Uh, what they studied. So let's say you're interested in computer science. You can drill in and say, okay, here's 214 Syracuse alums, computer science focused, who are at Amazon. So again, you can go through this list and say, who are some folks that I can start to reach out to, start to use to build my network, get some conversations going, and leverage the alumni network in that way. All right, so kind of two ways to get at more or less the same result, but both work very, very well. Again, quick takeaway here would be leverage a couple of these subfilters. So be thinking about geography, be thinking about skills, maybe it's the specific work they're doing, coupled with the company and then being a Syracuse alum, will get you to a really nice intersection that will be useful for outreach. All right, and then one more thing that I wanted to just show you guys very briefly while we've got LinkedIn up here, is Syracuse has a number of great uh, LinkedIn groups for you guys to take a peek at. So I'm gonna just do a quick search for Syracuse. I'm gonna open up the groups result here. And you'll see we've got several great groups that I highly encourage all of you to join. So Syracuse University Alumni Network, this is a large, very expansive group for all of our alums. We've got CUSE Connect, which is for students and alumni. Um, and then also want to point out that basically all of our schools, all of our colleges, so maybe you came from Newhouse, maybe you came from VPA, they all will typically have their own LinkedIn group as well. So I encourage you guys to find those college and school specific groups. And then also you may find some major focus groups as well to join. So keep that in mind. I think joining two, three, maybe four of these groups, following these groups, seeing the conversation, doing some networking even through them is another really powerful way to use LinkedIn to tap into our alumni network. All right, so I'm gonna hit pause there and toss it back to Jessica. So this is where um, John just left off in regards to the different groups. Um, if there is one that you're not finding, you can email us in regards to, hey, I was actually a dual major in Maxwell and Newhouse, I can only find this one, and we can connect you with the right people. So next up is alumni clubs. So really what this is, uh, originally when we started the call, I said, throw in the chat where you are, put the city that you're in. And so if you go to the main website, which is alumni.syr.edu, you're going to see this screen along the top where it says alumni career services, attend an event, experience Orange Central, and then join a club. So what's really great is we come upon alums all the time who say, we want to get involved, we want to volunteer. So there's basically two opportunities for you right now. If when I say the word volunteer, you're like, I'm good, I'm busy, I'll just go to an occasional event, I'm talking to both groups of people. Um, so we have opportunities for you. Let's say you live in Los Angeles and you say, yeah, I'd love to give some input on how alumni come together. I'd love to go to this restaurant or do this activity or go to a game um, together with fellow alumni in your city. That's what alumni clubs do. So if you're a volunteer within the club, you give input on the various events that you think should potentially happen in your city for the alum who live there. 
Or you say, you know what, I'll just go to the events <laughs> that, that come up, um, not necessarily hoping to help plan them. So that's a little bit about alumni clubs and how you can connect to people. There are so many, there are somewhere in the range of 30 to 40 across the country. Uh, so hopefully there's one in an area that that's near you. All right, alumni career connections. If you have not met with us one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you may not know what this is. So essentially, if you are on our website again, alumni.syr.edu, and you go to the alumni careers tab, you will see a section that says connect with the orange network. And this is going to give you different ways in which to know how to find each other, essentially what this session is about today. Um, so alumni career connections is essentially this. We started with LinkedIn because we know that everybody knows it, they have it. But then I usually ask a follow-up question. I say, who has LinkedIn? Most people raise their hand. And then I say, who actually utilizes it? And some hands go down. So Alumni Career Connections is a way for you to connect with alumni who've already said yes to connecting. So you should utilize that alumni search tool. It's amazing. It's free. It's, it's really, really useful. Um, but as you know, potentially, when you reach out to people on LinkedIn, you sometimes get a response and you sometimes don't. So Alumni Career Connections is a list of alumni that we keep here in Alumni Career Services. And it's alumni who already said yes to connecting. We can send you this. So when we meet with people one-on-one, -on -one, we email you a list of this uh, Career Connections list. And essentially what you do is you go through it and it's in a basic Excel. So you can filter it based on city, based on what they majored in, based on whatever you want. And then you find five alumni that seem interesting to you that you say, yep, I want to connect with these people for whatever reason. I'm looking to transition industries or careers or whatever that looks like. And then what happens is John and I on the back end actually do the email connecting. All you have to do is look through the list and find up to five people who seem interesting to you. And we actually provide the email connections. So I'm hoping that something just interested you either on one side or the other. So right now you're saying, I can actually provide the support. I have switched careers. I have switched industries. I would be willing to be somebody who said yes to connecting for other alumni. So what you do on the right-hand side is when you go to that alumni.syr.edu in the top right corner, you'll have to log in. So if right now you're saying, I don't know how to do that. I will tell you how after. Um, but once you're logged in, you just click update my info. And then there's actually a tab that says alumni career connections. And when it says, are you willing to be connected? If you click yes and hit save, you get added to that list. And you can now be a resource for fellow alumni, which we very, very much appreciate because we want the list to grow. Again, if you're somebody who says, I actually want to connect with people, I want to select those five and get those email connections um, provided, provided by John and myself, then you'll just do the piece on the, on the left. You can either meet with us one-on-one -on -one, or you can say, I already know I want the list. You're just going to email alumnicareers at syr.edu and we will send the list to you. And then we will get you connected from there. So what's really cool as well, once you're on the website, is this. I think this is very nuanced. And unless you're um, having a lot of free time to explore the SU alumni website, you may not have found this otherwise. So... If you go up in the right-hand right corner again, you're going to click Find Classmates. And the really cool piece is when you put in a name and it pops up, um, there's a little box on the right-hand side that it actually says you can email this person. So you won't know what their email address is, but you can send the message and then it will be emailed to them through the email address that we have in our alumni database. So this is another tool in order to find fellow alumni, connect with them in a way that you may not have previously um, known about. So, but all we've done so far is sort of the techie pieces, LinkedIn, the website, how do you find people? Um, so I'm gonna throw it back to John in regards to, yes, you wanna connect with each other, but hopefully you wanna do so not just via the computer, but in person as well. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, I was just gonna add also that find a classmate, feature is really useful if you bump into somebody, you meet somebody at an in-person event, which is what I'm about to show you, and you don't remember a whole lot about them, just maybe their last name or their first name or both, that you can get in there, you can see which class they're from, where they're located geographically at least, and kind of confirm, yep, that's the person I met. I'm going to send them a quick note and just say, hey, it was nice to meet you. Looking forward to more conversations, whatever you want to say. Okay, so to Jessica's next point, which was, hey, this is all great to do virtually. It's great to do outreach. It's great to set up calls. But it's also great to attend events and especially, I would say, in-person events. So 
Syracuse Alumni Association has a very robust kind of calendar of events to kind of be aware of and take a peek at. So if you guys bookmark alumni.syr.edu, as I definitely recommend you do, you'll see that this attend event tile up here is something you'll have access to right away. So um, there's a couple different ways to navigate this. So what I would suggest first is you can actually just click on the tile itself. And this will show you a very comprehensive listing, right? So by all geographies, this will show you virtual events. But this is a nice way to just get a quick snapshot of what's everything that's coming up in the next two to three weeks, for example, that I might be interested in. Um, obviously, you can also then filter by your region. So for example, I'm sitting on the West Coast. I know we've got a couple of West Coast folks here today. So I'll use this as a quick example. So for those sitting on the West Coast, we've got some events coming up. We've got um, a screening and talk back coming up tomorrow. We've got a networking in your neighborhood in Vegas. We've got a Dodger day coming up. So these are all, again, in-person, really amazing chances to connect just very authentically with people that are fellow alumni who have similar interests, um, likely some similar industries, but in some cases that's not always true, but interesting people nonetheless. And this is just a great fun and organic way to think about building that network in person. I will also highlight just briefly, we have a number of virtual events. So quick kind of a caveat, if you are say looking here on the West Coast, um, if you click on this Western events, you will not see the virtual events that we offer. So you can see there's a specific virtual event filter that you can throw here. So be sure to check that as well if you tend to just filter by geography so that you get the best of both worlds. Again, lots and lots of great in-person events, but also some virtual events that we want you to be aware of, especially I'll put a quick plug in for our career services events that Jess and I will continue hosting throughout the next 12 months. So, um, all right, Jess, I'm gonna toss it back to you. All right, sounds good. So in regards to the in-person piece, um, which we're hoping can happen for you potentially, is we obviously go to your area. As John just showed you, there's, there's events, alumni engagement events in cities across the country, whether they're initiated from our office, our regional, um, offices, which are in New York City, DC, and LA, or from the alumni clubs. But at some point, maybe you'll come back to campus. Um, we will at least let you know what's going on. So coming up first is coming back together. Uh, this is for predominantly for our alumni of color. And these are the dates for September and just a little bit of a teaser to let you know actually what's going on. Normally people give you a title and a date, but not some of the meat of what's really um, happening over those couple of days. So this is a little teaser for that. This is open registration on that alumni.syr.edu attend an event tab. So this is all things CBT. And then a little bit in addition would be the other events going on. So family weekend uh, in September, homecoming, um, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And then John alluded to this as well, that there will be a lot of events around away games. Um, that are happening across the country for our football team this fall. So just wanted you to know what else is coming up. Um, so if you say to yourself, again, like the only reason you're here right now is probably because, again, the idea of being in space with other alumni is a good idea to you. So we want to make sure you have all of it. And then when John made that specific piece about virtual events, so we didn't want you to lose that. That's why when I go to attend an event and I'm in a meeting with an alum one-on-one, -on -one, I tell them don't click any of the other features and just look through the list because uh, you will miss the virtual options. So being that we are alumni career services, um, we wanted to make sure that you could find one another, but then we wanted to touch upon the job search piece. So we will be giving some tips and tricks in regards to how to improve your job search. This is definitely for people who are either in the thick of it and need a new um, strategy, need a new approach. Um, these are people who are thinking to themselves, I like my job, but maybe at some point I might want to switch. And maybe it's not right now, but maybe you could learn, like I said, a couple strategies and approaches that would be potentially different. Um, so just like today's session, we are doing this uh, once um, for a little less than 30 minutes now, and then again later today. And then we'll be doing the same thing on August 8th, but just for this topic. Um, so what I just did in the chat was I tried to do a little bit of a summary of the things that we just talked about um, outside of the, uh, the in-person events and how to find those. So what we wanted to do was actually do what we just did and end a little bit early um, so that we could take people's questions 
So again, this was find fellow SU alumni. Hope it was helpful. What I'm actually gonna ask is if you could put in the chat, what was new today? So maybe you already knew about the alumni search tool on LinkedIn, um, but maybe you hadn't heard about the career connections list, or maybe you've gone to an in-person event, but never gone to something. So what would be helpful before um, people hopped off is just the piece about what, what was new information today. Um, and then because we did want to honor your time and make sure that we stayed within the 30 minutes, what I'm going to do is say thank you for coming. Uh, we hope this was helpful. But then what we invite people to do is stay on if we do have questions uh, and then we'll be able to answer you one-on-one. Um, -on -one.